The thing that makes using alpha channels so cool as compared to the myriads of other ways you can remove backgrounds in Photoshop is that you can also use it with art that has shading. So for example, here is a watercolor that I did. And again, select it by clicking Command or Control A, copy it, Command or Control C, go to your Channels panel, create a new layer or channel, <laughs> copy by clicking Command V, and invert it by clicking Command I. Then go back to your Layers panel, create two new layers, go ahead and hide the background layer. And in the bottom layer, fill it with white, or whatever color you want. I just had to deselect that. For some reason, it wasn't letting me uh, fill it. Anyway, so I deselected by clicking Command D, and I filled it in with white. And then be sure to click on the blank layer at the top. Go to Select, Load Selection, and in the Channel dropdown, click Alpha 1. So now I've got my tiger, and I'll go ahead and fill him in turquoise since I've already got that color. And be sure to click within the dotted lines. And I'm deselecting by clicking Command D. And now I have this really cool tiger. And again, I can lock it and color it however I want, which is what I did over here. Um, so I yeah, I did the same technique for all these different drawings. And as you can see, colored it differently within. So I love it because it picks up on all the nuance of uh, shading and really just gets everything <laughs> and takes out all the white. Um, it's just great. <laughs> so that is removing the background on black and white drawings or paintings with alpha channels. I really hope you find that useful. See you in the next vid.